great Friday. I can't say morning anymore. It's been busy, but uh, thank the Lord for a brand new day. 252021, to God be the glory. And I just been really uh, bogged down as far as with debates and I have to say when I began today, I know that there is a new wave and a new thought in our school systems and some might say it's watered down. Some might say that we're trying to push equity, which is true, but I do believe we still can have high standards. It's something about young people when they feel the reward of hard work. And I, I gave an example of where I had a young lady, uh, I, was, I was the first teacher to ever give her an F because she didn't do Jack. And because of her effort, because of the extra credit and whatever, she rolls all the way to an A. And like I said, there is debate as far as should we just give students half of a hundred, even if they don't do anything. And I said, no, no, no. Listen, we come from a legacy. Black history, if we're really celebrating that, we're talking about those shoulders that we stand on. And we are, we know excellence. We know dignity. We have a legacy that's rich. And, and like Leviticus 25, it talks about how in the seventh year, people were able to go back to their homes and they would be free from debt. And it also talks about how they would be able to return to their own family from slavery. It says in verse 10, and ye shall hallow the 50th year, pro proclaim liberty. Thank the Lord we have freedom. What are we doing with what we have? We are genius, but it's like we're, we're almost crippling ourselves and each other throughout the land and all the inhabitants thereof it shall be a jubilee unto you and ye shall return every man unto his possession from slavery and ye shall return every man unto his family listen we have the advantage of doing great things right now so I don't know if you had anything from Leviticus 25 or talking about how did you feel? And I, I gave an example of how I have spoken to students who have graduated from high school and when they went into the college atmosphere, they were like, what? How come this person knows this and this person knows this? And I was getting A's and B's all along, but I don't know this. And I said that we are crippling our students when we're not telling them, we're not really preparing them and giving them those true grades so that they can rise. It's something about accomplishment. Speak to that, because you just went to college. What do you have to say about any of that? Mm, I kind of found that out as well. What do you mean? Well, um, it was like feeling that I had like a lot of my peers and classmates would know certain things, and I wouldn't. Uh, I think it was because the different uh, high schools we went to, that's not an excuse, but that's just the truth. And I think a lot of times in like certain schools it's much easier to like get a good grade and feel like you're very smart or whatever. But until you actually until your intelligence is actually tested, then you really won't really know. Yeah. And it's kinda just uh it's really not helpful when you're just boosting up somebody and then once they get to the real like the real uh, race, it's kinda like it doesn't help at all so <laughs> And that's exactly what my point was. Um, students really don't know what they don't know until they get out there. And they're like, you mean to tell me my teachers have been pumping me up all this time? Or maybe it's that we're not presenting the curricula, you know, what is out there and we're not aligning it and we're not looking to ourselves. But I understand we should be compassionate. Believe me, I was telling them there have been many nights where I've been up till 11 o'clock at night but what are we to do in the meantime? Huh. We are to ask the Lord to lead us, lead us and guide us as we are preparing to go back to school. Psalms 5, 8, lead us, O Lord, in thy righteousness. 
you know, it's not our own way, but the Lord will surround us with his favor as with a compass and compassion with a shield. He'll protect us as we look to him. He is the author of all wisdom, knowledge, skill, and understanding. And we can rejoice and we know that we'll be joyful in thee. Anything else that you have to say? Yeah. Our, our young people want to be challenged. We want to prepare them for not just right now, but when we're off the scene. We don't want to just say like, oh, you know, oh, my class just did this and that. We really want to prepare them. I told them that I took four or five classes. I didn't even look at the grades that I got uh, myself because it's not about the grades. It's about intrinsic motiva motivation and not extrinsic. So let us just um, examine ourselves and know that we're not in slavery. Have a good day.